Hey everyone, Ivy Lee Gaming here, and I'm starting another new series. This is going to be a free-to-play, one hour a day. Now, I can't say that without giving credit to my friend Dr. Matt. Dr. Matt Games, you may know him by. Also, well, his proper name was Dr. Who Games. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen him around if you're on Twitch. But he came up with this idea for a name and concept. Like, I was saying I want to do a free-to-play, but it takes so much time. Um, to play the normal game as is, and like it's hard enough trying to keep up with my main account. So he's like, he said this idea, and it was kind of perfect. Like, how much can you really play raid if you only play one hour a day? Now I know that's not realistic in game. Just doing clan boss alone takes that much time, if not more. Um, so this is a series that's probably going to end once. I hit my whole goal is to end it when I hit level 50 after using my referral. Um, so I'm going to use my referral so I can get that sacred chart for my account because I still have two spots I haven't used my referrals on. And I've been playing for two and a half years, almost three years actually now. It's crazy. So, I mean, I, I really want to get those extra shards. I'm going to give it up trying to get other people to use my links. It never works, so let's just let's just have some fun. We'll make a series out of it, and let's get going. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go in and give some notes later about what happened throughout this one hour of play. Now, I'm going to be timing myself. I'm going to be timing myself, so I will be actually making sure that my gameplay really isn't more than an hour, and then I will probably recap how much I did, um, and kind of show you some progress, and then of course, when I have shards to pull, I'll show shard pulls, and I'll show any other progression that I've done as far as upgrading my champions. Now, I don't, I'm hoping this doesn't hinder me with that novice, or whatever is it, new player tournament that comes out, because that is worth grinding really hard if you're a new player. So, I'm, it's, it's really tough. So along with this, I'm going to give advice too, so... Number one advice, do the new player tournament that you get right away. If you're just starting and you have that up, or you're about to restart because of whatever reason, um, make sure you do the new player tournament. It's really worth it. The gear is so good. Getting Relentless gear early, I think that's actually gives you Relentless gear early. Um, it's great. Plus, I think it, that's last I knew it gave you a new champion at the top, which isn't a great champion, but it's still a champion. It's still food. It's still, like pulling an ancient shard so it's it's helpful to so make sure you guys do that as well um but yeah i'm gonna get into it and then i will check back with you guys periodically about my progress and i'll decide which i'm gonna use for a starter champion now i think i'm you know what i know the answer to this let me pause and we'll come back to it i'm quick gonna run in here with um starting our new series um yeah it's it's kind of fun right so it is the simple chase going on um so we have more gear to collect for simple we received a book oh, what about shaman are we still going to get our shaman as well i guess probably good we're going to see aren't we so there's simple chase Ooh, we still get oh boy so this is a little bit of a bonus that most people aren't going to get right away but I'm excited. Um, it's also, we also have daily login. So instead of, sh oh yeah, it was instead of shaman, you get simple. I mean, that's better at least. But I'm kind of bummed. I thought, I was thinking we would get shaman and simple, but I guess not. Downloading resources. Okay. Now, one thing I'm not too sure, referral program. So I used my referral link. I want to make sure this works. If it doesn't, I'm restarting because, um, oh boy, I want to make sure that this counts because that's the whole point. <laughs> I wanted to use this from my um, referral right here. I wanted to get more to get my sacred chart and my void chart because why the hell not? So why not do this in the process? But yeah. So I wanted to come into this actually because I wanted to show you guys who I chose. And it's my girl, Elhane. I'm I'm terrible. I should have chose Aethel, 
or Gaelic because I've never done a free to play series with them or any little mini um, raid anything with them. I really, really should have done Aethel already. I'm kind of regretting that. If I have to restart, I will. But um, I don't know. Elhane, I don't know why people give her hate. I watched a video. Was it, who was it? Was it Ash and Darth? Um, just said Elhane's the worst. I don't get that. I completely disagree. She has two AoEs. Um, and then that alone makes her great for campaign farming. Better than Cal. Better than Aethel. I mean, Aethel at least does the, like, buffs herself and goes again or whatever she does. But it's still not enough. It's one hit. Like, at least this makes for better, quicker campaign farming. It also makes her great for Arena. She has this increased crit rate buff. Although I'd still build her with 100% crit rate because you want this A... If the A3 goes first, you want that to have 100% crit. And you want this, obviously, extra hit if the attack is critical. You want her to have a crit on her A1. But personally, I'm starting with Elhane. She hits hard. She's better campaign farmer than all of them. And I don't care about getting poisons for clan boss. There's so many champions that do poison now. It doesn't take long to get poisons for clan boss, so Cal is kind of irrelevant for that. Plus, the second you get better champions, he becomes irrelevant. Um, and honestly, even little lovely outlaw monk, who I should point out really quickly. Come on, come on. Again, I want to make sure I give advice as I go along with this free-to-play series. So outlaw monk, what is he? Actually, pause. I don't know. Sacred order? I'm not going to pause. It's fine. Yes, Outlaw Monk. So Outlaw Monk in that lovely retail or Relentless set that you should get if you do your tournament. Grants attacks one enemy chance of an extra turn. Two poisons on the target for two turns. 5% poisons, the big poisons. Him in Relentless Gear is so good for early clan boss. So he's fine. You don't even need Cal. And you're more than likely going to get someone else that's going to replace Cal so quickly. And if you don't, oh well, it's early clan boss. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll get somebody. With all the mystery shards you get, you end up getting rare champions as well. Or you could do two outlaw monks, I don't care. If you're really desperate for poisons, use two outlaw monks. It's not too hard to find him. So, I am the anti Cal as a starter champion train. I love El Hain. she hits hard. And I even know my girl Layla Fox Nation, she was using El Hain as her main arena nuker until not too long ago. Like, she used her for a really long time. And El Hain is the only one out of all the starter champions I've ever continued to use in end game content. Like, end game content meaning Faction Wars 21. Um, but still, like, I used her fully through, never touched Cal for Faction Wars one bit. He's kind of pointless for. Faction Wars 21 for Dark Elves, honestly, but Elhain can be great as a nuker. When, especially by the time you get there, you'll have Apothecary and um, Arbiter any with you, anyway with you, so easy to keep her alive if you make her squishy to hit hard, so why not? Plus, there's the rare attack champion um, Secret Rooms, and she's really good for that, with especially in a stun set. So that's my rant on my starter champion, and I will touch base with some other notes after this. All right, and I want to touch base about this novice tournament. So I just got to where it popped up. This is what I'm talking about. Do this right away. If you get this, do it. If you if you missed out and you just started your account, go back and restart and redo this. I'm not even kidding. This is so good. You get five star speed gear right away, which is really hard to get early on. Um, you also get a free champion, some silver, some shards to pull, and um, you get them by winning arena battles, raiding dungeons, and doing campaigns. So simple enough, just do as much as you can based on whatever events are already happening, or honestly just grind campaign really hard and try to do whatever you can in arena um, at such a low level. I know it's hard, but it's really worth it. This is only two days, so do as much as you can with all the other players that are playing. So many people will start playing and not even pay attention to this. Look at there's someone who's got like, no points. Four points, two points. We all, Or maybe this is we all just started. What am I saying? We all just started. So, how many people are actually going to keep up? I don't know. Like, if you're going to be going harder than me, I'm only playing this one hour a day. So, I might lose out on the fact, with that simple fact that I'm only doing this one hour a day. Um, but we do have this lucky bonus. I just realized. <laughs> I just started this before 7 o'clock, which is an Eastern time where I'm at the, at the moment. That is... 
That was yesterday I started. It's a new day. I already got two pieces for the sample chase, which would be shaman otherwise. So you still get the same gear. You just would get shaman instead of simple. So I actually will already be able to get two days worth of rewards because I started right before reset. Now it's a little bit of a hack there, but hey, honestly, it's not about, it's not about, um, that exact how many I'm not gonna make a video for every single day I play it's more just what can I do in one hour's worth of grinding cavern is unlocked let's go but yeah do the novice tournament <laughs> the next thing you want to be focusing I should probably mention um it should be obvious but maybe it's not is actually oops let me fix my window why is my window messed up oops <laughs> pause it's actually what you follow so do this follow your progress missions it's the number one way to get good rewards along the way you're going to get a ton of energy look at all this ton of resources follow this number one then if you get stuck on something obviously do your dailies do your weeklies um but you do your weekly as you do your daily so don't obsess with that go here go to challenges and try to get some of these done if you can in between times of doing your progress missions. But number one, get your progress mis progress missions done in order if you can, the best you can, and just until you hit a wall and then just grind, just grind ca um, campaign. So um, I'm gonna, I've already pulled all my shards and I'll check back with you guys and tell you what I got later. Another quick tip as I'm going along here, try to use only two champions as you go along. That way you can get all three stars on campaign. Three starring your campaign gets you actually some really nice rewards here at the bottom. If you pay attention, you'd actually realize how much value they can actually bring here. Look at this. Extra XP, gems, silver, everything is so important. These XP boosts to help make sure you get double XP while you're um, grinding are super helpful. So make sure you try to go along with your little baby champs um, at with two at a time if you can. Again, this is why I love Elhane. She's just so freaking good early on. Her A3 hits so hard. Pair her with anyone and she's going to be great and carry you pretty far into this game. Now, I know this is a free-to-play series, guys. But this offer is actually really good. 10 bucks, and you can get a couple of your champion. Actually, 10 bucks, and you can get your starter champion immediately to level 50. Well, rank 5 and then to level 50. Like, this is really good. I don't think they offered this when I started. If they did, I probably would have bought it. But this is an instant upgrade from your champion, a max of level 30 to 50. So this is really good value early on. The grind to actually do that, to get a bunch of 1 stars to 2 stars, 2 stars to 3 star, 3 stars to 4 star, and then get your starter champion to 5 star. It takes a long time. So for $10 to make this... I don't know. To make it that easy, I would 100% buy this if I was going to spend money on this account. All right, and I hit level 14, so I wanted to mention Faction Wars. Don't forget it, guys. Don't. Like, right now, we have a lot of keys. All right. Hi, Elf. We got our girl, Elhane. That's all we got. You know what? Do it. It's fine. If, can she only do level 1, maybe? That's fine. Do it a hundred times. Well, not a hundred times. Do it twelve times. <laughs> do whatever you can do in all of these factions every single day, no matter what. It's really, really helpful to get the glyphs. You need level one, even one, uh, one star glyphs um, that only provide one speed are huge. They're so game changing, um, especially when you get tuning comps. So just using your faction. Four, four keys, even 12 times here, worth it. Um, now, I know this isn't part of the novice tournament, so some people might be a little bit like, let's not worry about that right now, but get it done. If you're like me and you're only playing an hour every day, this might be a little more time consuming when I'm trying to do the novice tournament right now, so I might actually not focus it for the first couple times, but it's so good. Like, Faction Wars is huge for progression because you need the materials and you need the glyphs that come along with it so don't don't sleep on it no reward we failed it's fine you know what it's fine i got one there so what can i do can i do anything on undead horde 
I have a couple unleveled characters. No. But what you do is you take whatever you got and, uh, oops, and you put even crap one star gear on them. You get it to level four. You get unlevel gear on them. Just do something. Just do enough to do level one each day, and it will be really, really helpful for progression on your account. And it's just good practice to make sure you remember to do faction wars every day, especially later on when you can really ramp up some of your resources. All right, guys. So we hit my hour of gameplay. I did hit level 15 along the way. Um, but sadly, it didn't show up in my referral program. Not this, obviously. It's the account. But on my main account, it didn't show up. Um, even though I hit level 15, I think I messed up. I think what the problem is, I actually used a device with blue stacks that has had raid before. Even though I cleared the data and stuff, I don't think that was enough. I think I messed up there. So I actually made a new instance on blue stacks. I'm going to... This is terrible. I'm going to change my username of this account to something else so I can see if I can get this name back. I'm going to go through this process all over again and I'm going to try to see if it links up for my referral program on my main before I commit to continue playing this account or that account. We'll see. I'm going to go through and do the same exact thing and get to the same spot. I'm going to aim to get to the same thing like level 15, 67% um, experience and I'm going to try to get to the same points. Now, where did I get to on this just one hour of gameplay? I was able to get 17 progress missions done. I focused the progress missions hard. I just kept doing the next one, then doing the next one. Um, equipped another champion with six life artifacts. That's where I left off at because there really is any other support champion that I've got so far that I'd want to put gear on. Now, I think out of the people I've got so far from pulling mystery shards, this is someone I would have put more time into. He has an A3 that um, is AoE and a chance to place decreased accuracy. So that's actually pretty darn good. It's easy to book up people with their dupes of themselves. So, like, does that book up to 100% chance to land decreased accuracy on an, with an AoE? That seems like it hit pretty hard for someone not wearing any gear. So I might actually build him up if I get him again or if I continue playing this account. Now, I also did a bit of challenges. I got through and we did a whole bunch of summoning, so we got some champions. I did some artifact, a couple artifact ones with the equipping sets, um, dungeons. I did a few keeps. Um, go through and do all three stages of this right away while all of them are open. Get them all done. Um, I'll do the rest tomorrow. And then arena, I think I did a little bit for just doing some arena. So I'm actually at level two of this novice tournament. Now, if I don't keep grinding on this account, I'm not gonna, I don't think I can hang. Um, this person's killing it, they're gonna get the main shard, but as long as I can get these resources, I'll be happy. Now, can I? I don't know, one hour of play and all I got was 168 points, and I've gotta get a thousand to get that gear. I don't think I'll be able to do this with this concept of only playing one hour, but it's actually pretty easy to do. You get a ton of energy, I have more. I have more multi-battles and I have energy in my inbox right now. So I think we can actually get there. Now, what I would do with this account, um, which I will do afterward, is at the end of this one hour of gameplay, what I plan to do is use my multi-battles. So what does that mean? If I have extras, we can use them. Um, but what I'll probably just do is use whatever I got, the 30 only. It's somewhere. So maybe we want to farm potions for Elhain. So I don't know if she can do level 4 or not on her own. Let's see if she can. Stage 4. <laughs> but she doesn't, she doesn't have much help right now. This is why she's great though, right? Am I right? This is why she's great. So let's see. Can she farm this full auto? No touching anything. We'll see. This, so this is what I'll do when I go to bed. So I figure what instead of just doing literally an hour including farming, I'm going to assume that this one hour of gameplay is one hour of actually interacting with the game. And then after you're done with that one hour of play, I'm going to set my multi-battles and walk away. I figure that's a realistic um, bit of play for most people that don't have much time to play a game like this. So why not? Let's just grind, grind and be done with it. So, all right, well, I am going to go redo this all over again on the other account and hope that that one actually connects. If it doesn't connect to, I'm probably just going to give up on the idea of my stupid referral sacred shards um, on my main account. And I'm probably just going to keep playing this first one that I did. So if I don't see it's connected after doing a new instance of blue stacks, 
then I'm just going to give up on that and just keep playing the one I already started playing right now. So if things look a little bit different when I come back to you, it will probably be because I did my other account worked, yay, and we'll try to get to the same point. But hopefully we can do that and actually, I don't know, <laughs> actually be able to progress to level 50 with the, with the whole intent. Get my sacred shard. And then after I get to level 50, I will do an account giveaway. So that's my plan. We'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, hopefully I get lucky with some really good shard pulls. So that way you guys can have a really fun account to look forward to getting in the future. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching and um, hope you look forward to the future videos. I am promise to give as many super early beginner tips as possible because I feel like there's a lot of overwhelming parts like leveling up your champions and ranking them up for example that are not well explained anywhere so i'm going to try to do things like that in this video series for newbies like you if i'm guessing if you're watching you're probably a newbie so um i appreciate all of you and i will see you in the next video